Supervisors, take your chairs. Can you hear me all right? Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Roll call, please. I believe Amy's not here tonight. Missing. Amy Mauer's not here, right? Okay. Okay. At this time, we'll do citizens' comments. I'm just going to read this. Any citizens wishing to speak, everyone who wishes to speak will have an opportunity to speak for three minutes. So be for, provide your name and address for the record before making your comments. You're also asked to refrain from using any vulgar or profane language, also to avoid attacks, threats, or comments directed at individuals. You're advised that under the Open Meetings Law, according to the Corporation Council, the board cannot respond directly to any comments made and are asked not to request that we do so. Failure to follow these guidelines or engaging in behavior which is disorderly, abusive, or disruptive may result in being asked to leave the premises. Are there any citizens wishing to speak tonight? Step up to the podium. Off to your left there. See if you get the button on there. There you go. Better? There you go. All right. I'm Steve Tyndall, 5104 61st Street here in Kenosha. I'm a nine year Navy veteran. I understand that tonight we're going to talk about the budget for the new Veterans Park and the bonding issue surrounding actually funding it. I'm hoping that that will all get approved. I see the park as an excellent place for veterans organizations to assemble and conduct a variety of different ceremonies. I think that once it's finally in place, that it'll see a lot of use in those regards. And I think it will forge an area to allow, that's not me. Okay. It'll forge an area to um, allow the, the veterans from the east of the interstate to co-mingle with the veterans from the west of the interstate, which is kind of an issue today. So I'm hoping that you'll all give this your blessing and that uh, we can move ahead with it uh, with haste. Thank you, sir. Any other citizens comments? Hello. Um, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I didn't have a chance to look over this budget. Can anybody tell me, is there anything in it for the well, black community? Yeah, just say your name and address for the record. Please. I'm Emily. I don't want to tell my address. I'm in the seventh district. Can anyone tell me, is there anything for the black communities in it? Like, is there anything specifically designated to learning or education on the topic? Is there anything? Is there anything? Can anyone answer me, please? Honestly, does this mean no? This is telling me this means no. How do you feel about that? Do you feel good about that? Do you feel accomplished right now? Should you? 
what are you guys going to do? Just let it happen until somebody else does it for you? I wait until you get voted out? Or are you going to step up and start changing the community for the better? This is your opportunity. This is your position. You're in it right now. I'm not in it. The people you see with me aren't in it. We're not in these positions to be able to put forth these efforts. But we're here. We're telling you what you need to be do. We're in your inbox. We're in your emails. We tell you what needs to be done. Where are you? Show up. This is ridiculous. Obviously, I'm upset. I am one person. How do you think the rest of everyone feels? You're going to go ahead and pass this budget that cares more about structural damage and building a road where we already have roads leading to than fixing the systemic issues in our, in our community. Fuck the roads in our community. The roads that are already messed up in our community could be fixed over this new road. Like, you guys, this, the world is watching, and this is what you want them to see? This is not integrity. This is not what um, the American people are wanting right now, and I hope you're seeing that. Right now, we need real systemic change, and you have the opportunity to provide it, to set the precedent. You have that availability, and you're failing us. How do you feel? And yes, I'm mainly looking at you for. Did you propose anything? Can you answer me that? Was anything proposed at least? You specifically, Gashki, told me you were working on something, and you named okay. other members here. Were any of those people, did you propose something, or was it just talk? If nobody's going to answer me, fine. But please sit on this. Please think on this. Please then act on this. Be better. We need it. Thank you. Please. Gully, don't be talk. Gashki, don't be talk. Berg, don't be talk. Belsky, right? I'm sorry. Right? Thank you. Your three minutes okay. are up. Please step up because the rest don't seem to even have any initiative. You at least seem to have some type of initiative. Please. And for the none of you who responded, thank you to my emails. Thank you. Any other citizens' comments? Seeing none, citizens' comments are closed. I have no announcements. Uh, comments are closed. Any committee supervisors have a report? Any chairman reports? Okay. Old business. Policy resolution, second reading, two required. From the Finance and Administration Committee, a policy resolution 2021 Kenosha County budget. Hey. Supervisor Rose. All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The uh, budget is in front of you, as is the uh, you want a policy resolution, which I would uh, move this evening. All right, I have a Motion on the policy resolution and a second by Supervisor Kentz. Supervisor, before we start, Terry, I want to yes. talk to uh, Supervisor Palmerville first. Thank you, Chairman. As you know, I'm the Executive Director of the Sharing Center, and the Sharing Center, like many nonprofit organizations, has the ability to apply for grants awarded by Kenosha County. These grants are not awarded or determined by the County Board. The only thing that the board does in relation to them is to approve the human services budget as part of approving the budget as a whole. While I am in no way involved in the process for approving grants as a county board supervisor and any monies which I would approve as part of approving the budget are in no way directed to the sharing center in the interest of avoiding even a perception of a conflict of interest 
and in the overabundance of caution after consulting with Corporation Council, I'm advising that I will not engage in any debate directly related to those grant funds and that when I cast my vote in favor of the budget this evening, it includes an abstention on those portions involving grants which could potentially go to organizations such as the Sharing Center. And I ask that the record 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 so reflect. Thank you. Next, I'll call on Supervisor Kubicki. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As you all know, I am the executive director at Kemper Center Incorporated. Since taking that position, I've taken great care to remove myself regarding any discussions or actions regarding not only Kemper Center, but the Kemper property itself. I feel that is appropriate to ensure that there is not even a perception of conflict of interest. Accordingly, I'm advising that I will not engage in any debate related to Kemper. And then when I cast my vote in favor of the budget this evening, it includes an abstention of those portions involving appropriations for Kemper. And I ask that the record so reflect. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Supervisor Rose. All right, thank you. Uh, the budget um, was discussed last night and uh, you had a chance to study, I think, the uh, budget summary. As I indicated, the uh, budget levy of over $70 million has a uh, slightly uh, over 3% increase from the 2020 budget, which means the state levy limits. Uh, I would like to first move, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chairman, that uh, the uh, increase be at 2.98%, and we can do this by uh, raising the uh, vacancy adjustment, which is so labeled, uh, but and can be found at page uh, 319 of your budget book at the bottom. It is uh, listed, it's the very last line at 319, and it's called salaries. Uh, this, you have to take my word, is in fact the, uh, what we call the vacancy adjustment. It's now $665,500. If we raise that to $700,000 uh, in the budget, as well as in uh, the budget resolution, uh, that will result in the uh, levy increase reduced to 2.98%. Uh, and if I get a second, I'd like to say a few more words about it. All right. Uh, this uh, vacancy adjustment is uh, an item which you will find in every single budget, uh, often not discussed but it's an important way to reduce the tax levy. Uh, it involves uh, in a projection by the finance department. I've reviewed this with the administration as well before this evening, that uh, during any given year, uh, there are, it's assumed that there will be people uh, leaving their jobs with Kenosha County, either uh, retirement, uh, death, uh, job vacancies not being fulfilled, uh, either for part of the year or perhaps even the entire year. And those things happen in the normal course of business. So therefore we have what we call a vacancy adjustment that assumes that there are going to be some vacancies in various departments annually. The assumption here is that the uh, vacancy adjustment would be $700,000. We have been over a million dollars, as I recall in various past budgets, and I recall one that was as high as a uh, million three. So we're still at uh, a more moderate level here at $700,000. Uh, we can reduce very easily uh, the uh, levy increase to 2.98% below the 3% uh, that uh, was in our original budget resolution. I think it makes a, a good statement and uh, doesn't impact uh, any budgetary items. That concludes your remarks for now. Uh, yes, uh, on that particular motion. Uh, any any discussion on that motion? Supervisor Noodle. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Thanks. I'm going to be voting against this. The reason is, the only reason actually that we're doing this is because a few months ago, we passed a make me feel good resolution by saying that the levy should be under 3%. Well, we went a little bit over. So what we do now? Well, we play with the numbers. That was done. The other reason, probably the main reason that I'm going to be against it is uh, about two years ago, the same thing happened. When we had some negotiations with the uh, administration and together, and especially me, with uh, the county board chair at that time, and part of it was to increase some of these numbers, and I was criticized, crucified by some of my fellow supervisor, especially somebody in the finance department. So I don't think anything changed between from then to now. So I guess for that reason, I'm going to vote against it. Let it be over 3%. Maybe we'll learn a lesson, and we're not going to keep put a limit on what the levy is going to be raised not knowing what's going to happen. There is many unknowns at that time. That number is just taken out and put by someone, and it's a make me feel good resolution. They already knew they were going to come under 3%. Maybe something happened, they went just a little bit over, and now they're scrambling to come under the 3% and not to look bad to go against what they voted before. Thank you. Any other flags? We ready to vote? All those in favor, yes. All those against, no. Did yours work? But I can't read it, so. Can't read it, so tell me. Different ones. <laughs> Slows. Well, we're, well, they're fixing that voting apparatus. Uh, as we go forward, I'll let everybody speak once, go around the room. If they want to speak again, we'll do a round robin. But I think I want to have everybody have their voices heard first. <laughs> On the other. That better? Is everybody voted now? Yes. Can you see it, Zach? Can't see it. <laughs> it's, it's. Okay. Yes. All right. The amendment passed. Hello? I'm sorry, but I cannot see anything from here. Could you yeah. tell me what the vote was? Okay. There, it's um, tired. 19 yes, three no. Two. What are the three no's? Uh, Supervisor Nudo, Nordigan, and Winky. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. 
Any further discussion? Okay. Uh, just a few additional comments. I think this budget need, meets the needs of uh, the entire community. Uh, one of the most important aspects of what county government can do is uh, create an economic uh, environment uh, where we create jobs and economic uh, security for all people. Uh, if we make a community where there are good jobs, where we encourage uh, new business development, where we have uh, roads to go to and from uh, those jobs, we've uh, given economic security to all of our citizens. Uh, the second point I think I would make is that uh, you look at the Children and Family Services budget. Uh, there are program growth increases here. We have attempted again to meet some of the problems that we see in our community, which uh, ultimately uh, come to uh, the Human Services Department in, in various forms. This budget attempts to address some of those problems uh, with the program uh, growth. We've also are, we concerned ourselves with uh, the Sheriff's Department. We've added six new deputies uh, for the security around the courthouse. And I think that's for obvious reasons. And we've seen it in the summer and we don't want to duplicate it again. Uh, I heard the criticism of the citizen this evening and the comments of the teacher last night. But I, I would say this, that I believe that this budget uh, is an attempt to meet the economic security of the people here in this community, all of the people, as well as uh, what are the, some of the social problems that we meet, the drugs, family breakups, uh, delinquency, and, and crime. To make it a better and safer place for everyone, uh, we, we, we're not the school board. And I, I heard the comments about what have we provided here for education. Well, that's up to the Board of Education, not the county board. Uh, we have, uh, so I would urge the support of what I think is a good budget, which uh, attempts to meet the various needs of this community. Thank you. Any other discussion? Thank you. I just want to make a few points. And um, like in the past two years, I spent many hours on the budget and worked together with Chairman Esposito and County Executive Cruiser. After many negotiations, we were able to reach an agreement that was acceptable to majority of the board. It was a compromise that I was praised and thanked by some of my fellow supervisor on record in the finance committee and by Jim Cruiser. After that, the county executive started to trash me and lying about what happened. By the way, I was partially indicated the public work committee meeting budget presentation, and I'm very grateful to that. For those reasons, this year, I decided to work on the budget by myself and bring my concern and changes, if any, directly to the county board. Uh, I did the conduct I'm not going to say all, but some of the department heads, uh, the budget director asking for clarifications with questions. I did get most, not all of them, but I did get most of my questions and answered. Now, one of the things that I want to talk about it is uh, I have many, many questions, but I'm just going to bring up maybe just a few. Let's see how it goes. Uh, after each one, I probably will make a motion if I need to, and then go to the next one. Uh, that is, uh, I'm going to talk about the county executive budget first. That is an item line, uh, I believe is, um, I got it. what is it, 52, 190, something like that. Anyway, and... Um, yeah, let's see if I can find the number, but uh, well, if we need it, we can go back to that. So there is uh, a lot of money being spent. Some of it, and I'm not going to say all of them or whatever, but there is uh, 
this year, which is a pandemic year, over one hundred thousand uh, dollars. I have, actually, I believe it's over one hundred and twenty thousand dollars, which was spent to SMET Group, which was for a, the job center study. Spent so much money for a project that was never okay by the board, or even mentioned the, uh, to the board, is to say the least very responsible. There is many twenty-five thousand dollars contributions for the city, along with many thousands of uh, two openings magazine and Carmichael Communications for the county share of the 4th of July festivities, which is my understanding they kind of pay it together. They all ought to pay for that to the city of Kenosha. I'm not saying that it's illegal actually being the city of Kenosha. I really appreciate that. However, what about shared expenses for the same reason to the other municipalities like Twin Lakes, Bristol, Summers, and so on? Aren't they part of Kenosha County? Or are their politics being played? Thousands of dollars were spent for Boys and Girls Club, Sharing Center, HR Value Partners, over 100,000 and many, many more. So for those reasons, uh, I would like to make a motion to delete the 150,000, I believe, I'm sorry, uh, from the budget. Actually, to make an adjustment, not delete it completely, to make an adjustment and bring it down from 150000 to $10,000. So I think with the $140,000, we can spend it on other things more important. So I don't know if I should make uh, if the motion should go on any items that I want to make or if uh, I should make a motion for everything at the same time. I would like to do it individually. I don't know true. Good question, Mr. Chairman. What uh, I have I'm at three oh seven. What line is this that you're talking okay, I'm about? Fine. Uh, uh, it's uh, under. I'm sorry. Three oh eight. So, uh, it's the one hundred and fifty thousand dollars there. It's been a second. I'm not too good with this uh, internet thing. I talked to Barna, maybe he can say it uh, better than me, which line I'm talking about, if it's okay. Uh, it's account 521900 on page 307, other professional services. Oh, I am gonna do try to do department by department. So this one, uh, that's my only motion that I'm going to make for this department. No, I was not a finance. I don't know if that's been discussed. I asked for questions. No, I did say no. Thank you. Is he looking at the reserve line item of uh, 449990 with 150,000 in it? No. I thought he mentioned 150,000. Yeah, I, um, I can't hear either, so. What? On page 307. Okay. It is other professional services. Account 521900, 155. I'm sorry. I said 150, 155. Down to ten. Yes, that's my motion. Thank you. Uh, yes, I, I would oppose this. You you've listed some good organizations in the community who. Uh, uh, receive some fund and uh, funding and and do some good. Uh, 
Uh, member of this board is the director of the Sharing Center. Uh, I think we know what's involved there. And there's some other organizations that do good in the community. I, I, I don't see that you've given any justification here uh, for doing that. Uh, we're talking about $155,000, reducing it down to $10,000, which is negligible. Uh, 10 doesn't do anybody any good if you're going to eliminate uh, all but $10,000. You're really just eliminating the whole thing without really saying it. Uh, I, I would urge that uh, you vote against this this evening. The committee did hear about this. Uh, we didn't make any changes because we thought that what was being done was positive for the community, and we're not spending a good deal of money here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, this does benefit uh, e even some of the low income families in Kenosha that can participate at the Boys and Girls Club and some other uh, some other worthwhile organizations. So uh, this isn't something that's just uh, thrown willy nilly out there. I think there was there's thought put into this. I think it's used well. Uh, so I will be it will not support this amendment. Thank you. I have a question through the chair to finance. Are these the money that Supervisor Nudo mentioned going to the sharing center and to the, uh, I guess, the Kenosha Parade? Are those grants? I I would say that you could call them a grant. It's uh, not, we don't call them grants. I think it's just money that we donate for the work that the Boys and Girls Club does or the Sharing Center, I I don't know that it's called a grant. But. I'd, I'd like to know from, I guess, from the Finance Department if it's a grant or if we're just giving a donation to these groups. There are um, a variety of different things in that account. Some things are grants, some are sponsorships for various things, um, and some are donations. I believe there was an item for Wilder Women and Children's Horizons. They were doing some work on the facility, and there was a donation made to help them reach that goal. It, they're independent. Not everything is consistent. I can't blanketly say anything is one type of thing. Okay, I thought the county cannot give donations to nonprofit groups. I am not aware of that. Corporation Council, could you speak to that? I am, excuse me. As always, I'm hesitant to try and weigh in on a question like this without having the opportunity to look at it. I don't know that it's uh, a question necessarily of a uh, donation um, per se. Uh, I took a look at some of these uh, expenses. My understanding was that they were primarily uh, meant to be uh, sponsorships. Um, uh, the one that was suggested from Women's and Children's Horizons um, I apologize. I don't recall the uh, the circumstances, but I believe there was some sort of uh, agreement. I don't think it was a, a straightforward donation. Um, I, I, I'm not I'm not aware of, of any problems with any of the expenditures from those funds uh, that have been that that I've seen. But you're not sure. Without researching the issue, I wouldn't want to say definitively, but I telling you that I have reviewed the uh, list of the expenditures uh, from that account and I didn't see any that caused any concern. Do we have grant paperwork for these things? I guess to finance the finance Finance committee, or not finance committee, I'm sorry, finance department. Do we have grant paperwork for these things? 
I don't know if we do or not. I am not. Um, I don't hold all the grant paperwork. Grants that are handled in different divisions are handled by those divisions. Okay, and then another thing that concerns me is Supervisor Pomabel said that grants were given to the sharing center only through the human services department. And now I'm hearing that it's coming out of the executive budget also. Is that correct? I, I don't want to speak again for the finance department, but based on the what I reviewed, I believe that the sharing center was several years ago, uh, not something that occurred recently. The current, my current, my understanding is that currently, and this is based on my conversations with uh, Director Jansen, that the only money that would go to the sharing center at this point would be through a grant process, not not from the uh, county executive budget. Through the chair to Supervisor Nudo, the information you have was the sharing did the sharing center get grants this past year or I'm this current really, budget? I'm not really sure if it was uh, this year. However, what I want to add is based on what Corporation Council said. Uh, when I talked to you, uh, you mentioned, and please hang in there, I think I'll find it here. Uh, the expenditures appear to broadly fit into the following categories. 4th of July celebration funding, contribution slash sponsorship of various nonprofits, consultant services, architectural services, and funeral related costs. I also want to add, uh, if I may, otherwise I can say it later, that also mean that I'm taking this out because I'm 100% against everything that is in there. I just don't believe it's in the appropriate place like we spent one hundred and twenty thousand dollars this year for an architectural project, that it's not going through. Nobody knew anything about it. Nobody was. It would Point ever of say order, it. Mr. Chairman. Who has the floor? Well, I asked Supervisor. Okay, Nudo but a that's not an answer to a question. So, well, you I can mean, strike that. She asked a question. I mean, we can't go on about sure. the same thing we just heard. I, I'd like an answer to the question and then move on and give the floor. Thank you. Supervisor Nudo, or but, through the chair to Supervisor Nudo. So in the comment you just made, did you say, that just made about where the money is spent. Was the word grant in there anywhere? I did not see any grants. Okay. Yeah. Any other discussion? On him. On the amendment, Mr. Gentz. Uh, through the chair to Corporation Council, um, I would like an answer brought back on grants to this uh, board um, it, it, and whether or not we're supposed to engage in them. Um, I, I don't I don't like the fact that we, we don't know and we have all different departments here in Corporation Council. So I want it brought back to this board uh, regarding grants, whether we have any, we can enter into any. I'm, I'm going to support this, but I mean, we should, we should have an answer to that question. Thank you. Point of information. I don't have an issue with grants. It's donations. If they're donations. I don't have an issue with grants. Any other, any other discussion? Supervisor rules. All right. Um, I think this line item can be more accurately uh, described as uh, other professional services in May over the years have included uh, some grants to various organizations. And I think uh, Supervisor Nudo uh, correctly enumerated various things that he observed over a six or seven year period of time. That doesn't mean that they are repeating themselves uh, year after year. Uh, one year it might have been a Pike River study that was done and that was paid out of this professional services uh, line item. It's uh, there's nothing necessarily specific right now that you could say, well, we're going to spend this money on. But over the years, the executive has had the authority uh, to use money in that line item for studies, uh, a grant to an organization that might have had a specific need that uh, needed to be addressed, which wasn't being addressed by the community in any other fashion. 
Uh, so when Supervisor Nudo listed a group of organizations or studies that have, may have been done over the last uh, uh, six or seven years, that doesn't mean necessarily mean that they have a right to it every year. That isn't what has been done. These were just various needs which were met by the executive with the sum of money this year being appropriated at $155,000. It may very well be at the end of the year, there'll be $120,000 or, or zero or perhaps $155,000. You have to have some money in the budget if you're the executive to address some needs which were unanticipated. Now, we know very well that every year there are events and circumstances that uh, we don't anticipate right now addressing the budget in November and looking forward to 2021. So the question is not, uh, was it appropriate to give something to the uh, Women's and Children's Horizons for some need they may have had? It's not whether or not we did a, a study on a particular issue in the past, as we have. Uh, the question is, do you want the executive to have some money which he will appropriately use for some need in the future uh, in 2021. And if it's there, it'll roll into the general fund at the end of the year. So over the years, the county board has said, yes, we think that's a good idea for the executive to have that kind of money to address something in the form of a study, in the form of a grant, in the form of some issue that is not otherwise addressed in this budget. Along with that, is the finance director or the budget director, would you come to the podium and, and talk about what Jerry just talked about? Clarify that just to, like this year, what's in the fund there? This year uh, in the 2021 budget, there's 155,000 in that line item. In, in, in 2020, probably the same thing? 2020 was also 155,000. You have to know how much we've spent so far this year. I believe fifty to sixty thousand. I believe. Okay. I believe I believe fifty to sixty thousand of that has been expended in twenty twenty. Wait, wait, hold on a second. There was one before you. Was there? What was the supervisor follow question to? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think it's sounding like we need to have somehow another bucket or a category to help the community out as county board supervisors. And that means transparency. Um, the county executive, yes, can have some funds for a, a little emergency that just can't fit something that needs to be done right now. But if he's looking to do a study, that should be through a department and somebody has professionally evaluated that we want to proceed with it. In other words, we get to know what's happening. Um, I have no problem. And, and uh, one of my organizations, the Kenosha County Fair, was recipient of some of these funds. Mr. Cruiser. And so it'd be easier to have more transparency to say, okay, the sharing center, women and children, the county fair, uh, the, uh, we want to support all of the parades in the county. So are we going to set aside a couple of thousand dollars to every municipality that's doing a parade? We're able to identify it and a department can handle it. So I'm agreeing we need some transparency and the county exec just needs a little money for an emergency quick decision. Thank you. Supervisor Gantz. Thank you, Mr. I Chairman. Um, this is the first item we're talking about today. Okay. Next, we're going to need to get hall passes to go to the washroom. I mean, how bad do you want to micromanage this stuff? And you could have come to any of the finance meetings or had any had this question asked before. They keep track of what's spent for what 
things out of here. I mean, Women and Children's Horizons, uh, Sharing Center. I mean, these are all things that are important to our community. Do we all want to know everything all the time? Okay. I mean, if you do, that's fine. But I, I mean, he needs some latitude to, uh, the exec needs some latitude to help the community out uh, with certain organizations that, that really aid the people that need it in our community or for other funds that, that help the county. And uh, I just, I mean, at this point, we're going to be going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. Thank you. Okay. Uh, actually, Supervisor Newell, to answer to Supervisor Gens, there are reasons why I did not come to the finance meeting, and you know what they are without going into it. Uh, the other thing is uh, that uh, I tried to say before, and you say I was out of order, which I said again. That doesn't mean I'm against it, most of the stuff that is in here, but there is something that it should not be there. It should be, uh, like I believe Supervisor Wingy said, to have a separate account where the county board will decide on that. I, my problem is giving the county executive full authority to use this for whatever he wants. I know that nobody likes that word, but uh, I'm gonna use the word because I don't know of any other words to use. This to me looks like a slush fund. And that is uh, then going back to what Barna said that this year I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, there was about 50,000 spent. Am I correct? Yes, that's what Okay, That's what I, believe. I got your, uh, the, you know, the things that you send me in 2020. Okay, it was spent 421, 2020, Smith Group, $22,374.71. 617, 2020, Smith Group Inc., $25,278.43. 820, 2020, Smith Group. Thirty-seven thousand five hundred and forty dollars. Ten nine two thousand twenty. Smith Group thirty-six thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars. I believe if you add all of them, they come out roughly to be about a, a one hundred and twenty thousand dollars or a little more. How do we have fifty thousand? That's the problem that I have. All nothing is told us exactly what it is. There is always something. There is another disbursement. This was on 12 30 18 in the amount of 22,900. I definitely asked exactly what it was. It just shows there there was a check cut for $22,900, but does not have a party name and no explanation. Still, at this point, when I asked for that line, exactly for that line with the amount, and the date that it was done, I wanted to know what it was. Nobody could tell me, or they didn't want to tell me yet what it was. So that's where my problem lies. Now, if we try to change it to say that I'm against giving some money to the Boys and Girls Club, no, that's not what I'm saying, or to the Shalom Center, no. But I want to know where the money's going. I don't want to micromanage anybody, but we're the ones responsible for the money. We're very short on money. And this $150,000 could go a long way towards something else, which it will come out later in this meeting that I'm going to suggest for it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, through the chair to uh, either the budget director or, or uh, they're both there, the, the finance director. So you said 50000 is what you believe you had spent this year. Supervisor Nudo just went over uh roughly one hundred twenty thousand dollars that went to one organization alone if we assume that that fifty thousand was money we sent to elsewhere outside of smith group that puts us at 170 do you know uh where the county exec plans on spending roughly another hundred thousand uh, dollars in the next two months when i was asked that question i didn't have that information in front of me that is correct. 120,000 has been spent so far this year. Not sure why you would ask me a question you already know the answer to, but um, the reason why that there's additional monies that were carried over from uh, 2019 into 2020 that were unfinished projects. Uh, the master plan uh, that uh, having to do with the job center here um, uh, is to Smith Group where it was the unfinished 
project and that was carried forward. So uh, with that carryover, I believe there may be another 120,000 that's still left in this account. I would have to look at the budget exactly how much is left. But I, I think you just wasn't asking you a question I didn't know. My question was what you just stated, there's another $120,000 roughly that we haven't spent. Do we know what we plan on spending that? Because we're projected by the end of the year to spend every cent of it. But we have 120000 outstanding. Do we know what we're going to spend that $120,000 on? I don't know at this point what, what we're going to spend that on. Okay. Thank you. Supervisor Frederick. Mr. Chairman, I don't think there's a supervisor in this room don't know what this is about. I would call for the question. Motion to call the question, and there was a second. All those in favor, yes. Aye. Call the question. Closing, closing debate. debate. That's what that means. To be clear, it's closing debate on Supervisor Nudo's proposed amendment. See what happens. <laughs> it's not working. Also, not working. I can't see it. That's about three times. D. Mark. Boy, Frederick. Motion passes. Eight. Eighteen to four. Call well, for roll call, Mr. President. You want a roll call vote or just a regular vote? Are we voting on my amendment? Voting on the amendment. You. If you vote yes, you're voting for the amendment. You vote no, you're voting against it. Just hold on. Just hold on. We have to set the thing up first. All right. Done or no? Five yes, seventeen no. Motion fails. We're having so much fun with the voting thing, we might as well do that way all night.
right? Yeah, I believe I still have the floor, right? We're ready to discuss the next thing? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, the next thing I want to discuss is the body cams. Uh, and I'm looking, I believe, on page 77, I want to say. CFP 77. Sorry, 78. talking about specific line item now i'm sorry are you talking about a line item i'm talking a specific uh, specific item which uh, we go to cfp 78 about the body cams sheriff okay i have a question a number one question is are we buying or leasing the body cams It's a purchase. It's a purchase. Okay, thank you. Then we have it in there that we're bonding four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a year for the next five for the next five years. Can somebody explain to me if we're purchasing something, how can we bond over the next five years? You're talking about the bonding now? Well, I mean, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. We have it in there. We have it in the budget. But also, it says that it's going to be bonded over five years. So when we vote on the budget, that's part of it. So I want to know, if we're purchasing something, how can we bond over five years? Shouldn't it be bonded all at the same time? Or am I missing something? The cost, the, the cost of the body cams in the system that goes along with it is is over $2 million. So unless you want to pay for it all in one year. Well, I'm just asking if maybe a finance or budget director can ask that question and answer that question is, is it legal to do that? Because if we're buying something, how can we bond over the next five years? I understand the reason why it's put it in there, but can we do it? Can you address that, uh, Barna or Patty Merle? We bond for many capital projects over multiple years. Road projects, tasers, the, the CIP is loaded with items, trucks that are purchased over many years. But for the same one, it can be done over many years. I know when you say trucks, but if we purchase a truck, let's say for 50000 can we bond $10,000 a year for the next five years? Or uh, if it's a different truck, because like this year, we're buying so many body cameras, don't we have to bond them all at the same time? The number of years it takes to pay, it does, does, makes no difference on whether or not you can bond it or not. If that answers your question. Okay, and I believe in the past it used to be two, two it had to be, it could be done within 24 to 36 months. Has that been changed, the rules changed, or is it the same as uh, past years? I don't know what you're referring to. I'm sorry? I don't know what 24 or 36 months. It could be split over two or three to. years. In other words, to be done over, to pay it over two or three years. I've never seen it over five years. I There's no requirement like that. Okay, thank you. Uh, one of the things that I want to bring up is probably this item is probably going to be the only thing that we're going to 100% agree on. So I think we really need it. We should do it. I tried to put a resolution a couple of months ago. It was never uh, put on the agenda. So I would like to make a motion to remove this item from the budget and make it a standalone resolution to purchase body camps immediately 
and pay them with funds borrowed from the reserve fund to be refunded at a later date. Sorry, I'll try. Repeat that, please. Okay. Remove it from the budget. Remove it from the budget. Have a standalone. Uh, yeah, and make it a standalone resolution to purchase body camps immediately and pay them with funds borrowed from the reserve fund to be refunded at a later date. It's moved and seconded. On the and amendment. who is the second? Rodriguez. Okay. Supervisor Rolf. I think we ought to defeat this without uh, further de debate. We've dealt with this issue before. We've had the same debate before. This resolution really is an amendment to the 2020 budget. It requires a two-thirds vote to amend that budget. I don't think we ought to waste another minute on this particular item that has been discussed before. There aren't two thirds of this body to support it. Uh, I, I ask that we defeat it immediately without further debate. Further, Decker. What did you say, Terry? Uh, I said. I have to finish with the. Can't call it the Supervisor President, right? That, he wasn't recognized. I'm simply confirming that you cannot call the question without being recognized. I'm going to go to Decker and then I'll go to you. Question to uh, Supervisor. Excuse for a second. To, to Supervisor, through the chair to Supervisor Nudo, how, when you say to be re refunded at a later date, how do you uh, plan to pay for that? Well, that will be done, uh, the board will vote on it. We can uh, fund it at a later date all by itself, or we can pay it out of uh, levy money. I mean, it's something, it's an item that we need 100%. So how we pay it, it can be done, uh, can be decided at a later date. It doesn't have to be decided right now. This is a process that has been done many, many times in the past. Like it's a very common thing. It just lately was done with Brookside, where they temporarily borrowed money from the general fund and repaid over the years. Uh, there was money the same way borrowed to fix the foundation, Kenosha administration building, and then repaid, whether can bring it up. Uh, for bonding at a later date or whatever, the board will decide to do it. But I think this okay. is a must, and that's one thing that uh, that's the only thing that I believe this board is going to agree unanimously. So instead of talking about it, if we're going to do it, let's just get out and do it. We got the money to Thank do you. it. We got twenty million dollars in uh, reserve. We don't need that much. Thank you. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's pass this. Let's get the body camps and get it going. Supervisor Frederick. No, I still have the floor. Right. So he was calling on Supervisor Frederick. Yes. Turn on your mic, please. Can I answer on that? Since I no. made it, can I answer on that? He answered your question. Go ahead. You have another question? Not answering the question. Yes, I have another question. So, to Supervisor, to, through the chair to Supervisor Nudo, uh, when you're wanting to pull this out, 
it, you're still keep, are you still keeping it in the 20, 2021 budget? And we're just voting on it on voting on it separately. What I want to do it, I want to do it in a separate way. This is in the budget. What about if the budget fails tonight? What about if the bonding fails tonight? Then what? We're not going to be able to purchase the body camps. What I want to do is I want to make sure that the body camps can be purchased immediately. Now, the sheriff's department is already trying and negotiations or whatever, looking for body camps. I don't have a problem. Actually, that's great. We can hurry up and do it. So I'm not trying to remove it and not have it. I want it done. I don't just want to talk about it. Let's do it. Because what happens if the budget doesn't pass tonight? I'm not a fortune teller in saying that the budget is going to pass. And it seems like every time we need to do something very important, we kind of sandwich in between or put something in the middle for other things that we don't need it. There is a lot of things I don't like in the budget. Personally, I'm going to vote against the budget. But I want to make sure that this year will go through. If it doesn't go through, if it passes in the budget and the bonding, well, that's great. It's a mute point. But if he doesn't, what are we going to do then? So if we do this individually and the budget passes, it can be thrown in there. The money can be borrowed now. We got the money in the reserves. You know, the board has got a 17% self-imposed uh, reserve limit. We got 30%. A few years ago, about, uh, don't quote me on the exact number, but I believe uh, we spent $19 million for Brookside. And then after that, they borrowed about, again, don't quote me on the right number, but I believe it was about six, seven million dollars from uh, from the general fund. I know it was in the millions. I don't know. Much. Stay, on the, stay on the thing. Super noodle, stay on the thing, okay? I am. I'm just saying that this Brookside. was done before. I'm stating that this was done before, so why can't you answer her now? question? I did, I think. Okay. Thank you. Any more questions? Roger Frederick. I call for the question on the, on the motion. Second. <clears throat> second. And the second. Want to do a roll call on that? Let's see if we can get a roll call done. This is on calling the question. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I did. Telling I did. people how to vote on the county I'm not board taking floor. Anybody out of vote? I just said one vote. I'm voting no. That's all. I, I didn't hear anything, but I can't hear that well anyhow. He told. He said vote no. Oh. oh. Did I really? You should have known what I. You should know what I got called by a supervisor in this room about a week ago, about two weeks ago. You want to talk about rude uh, the the vote is on calling the question if you want to end debate and move immediately to a vote on the resolution you want to vote yes to call the question make sure you're hitting confirm after you vote please supervisor winky Supervisor Ron Frederick. Did it work? Supervisor Ron Frederick, did you intend to vote no on calling the question? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's going on? Does he want to vote yes on calling the question? Yes. Did everybody vote that's here to the vote? Motion to call the question passes 18 yes, 4 no. Mr. Chairman. Point, uh, point of information. Uh, Is it against uh, county board rules of procedure or anything uh, in the county board ordinances? for other county board supervisors to tell people how to vote on the county board floor? I am unaware of anything in the county board rules that indicates one way or another 
I would advise this body for whatever my advice is worth that supervisors should probably not be telling other supervisors how to vote during a debate unless they are asking a question as to what a vote means. I will do my best throughout the evening to make sure that as votes are being taken, it's very clear what's being voted on and what a vote means. Kind of, Thank you. Supervisor Decker, if you want an analogy, it's kind of like that sign on the door. It says you must wear a mask when you come in here. I can't stop you from not wearing a mask, okay? There's no I'm ordinance gonna, for I'm that. I'm not going to put you in a corner. There's no ordinance for that. Yeah, yeah. No, there is no law for a mask. I didn't say there was. Supervisor Frederick did. We're, all right. We're, take a roll call vote on his motion. The vote is on Supervisor Nudo's amendment or motion to remove the funding for the body cameras out of the 2021 budget and bonding and do it immediately, and I'm not going to try and repeat the rest of it. If you are in favor of Supervisor Nudo's proposition, vote aye or yes. If you are opposed, vote no. Motion fails. Six yes, 16 no. Excuse me. I intended to vote no and accidentally pushed yes. Did everybody vote? So five yes, 17 no. Motion fails. Supervisor Frederick. I move to call the I move to call the question on the no, budget as presented. Right I'm sorry? You don't have the floor Yes, yet. I do. Yes, I do. You continue until you're done? Okay. That's what I did. I mean if you don't wait, you guys don't wanna I'll, hear I'll my voice anymore. Calls. Okay, I'll, I'll rest it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. How many more do you have? You want to? Okay. Supervisor Frederick. I move to close to the call the question on the budget as presented. Exactly. Supervisor Frederick, could you repeat that? I move to call the question on the budget as presented. As presented. Any discussion? There's there's no discussion on a no, motion no to close discussion. debate. Okay. Uh, um, you're following the question. Roll call request. Roll call would always be in order tonight. If you wish to end debate. Uh, Vote yes. If you wish to continue the debate, vote no. The motion is to call the question. If you wish to end debate and move directly to a vote on the budget as presented, vote yes. If you wish to continue the debate, vote no. Wait a second, set it up. Everybody voted yet? Who's, miss, who's missing? Supervisor Ron Frederick. Supervisor Frederick. Good. Motion passes. Is it simple majority? Oh, two thirds.
16. Motion. We needed a two thirds vote. Excuse me. Motion fails. 14 yes, 8 no. 16. Any more discussion? Roger Rodriguez. Uh, just a point of information, really. Uh, I think it's just a typo in the budget resolution we received yesterday, uh, but I just want to go through. I know many of us were at finance uh, on the last night before we came here. Uh, I had an amendment on the last page of the budget resolution, be it further resolved. Uh, uh, it originally read uh, 15 for our handout from last night. I'll wait until everybody gets there. I think we're good. Uh, what what this be it further resolved did was allow the sheriff's department uh, to enter into a contractual agreement with whichever vendor uh, they so choose. Um, as early as December first, there was some language that used myself and others. Um, it originally said by December first, which some of us felt limited. Them, you know, they had to do it by the December first date. Um, this just allows them to do that earlier. Uh, but in what we received last night, buy is still in there, so it reads camera vendor as early as by December 1st. I just want to clarify that that buy shouldn't be in there. I think it's just a typo. Um, and then I do have a question for the sheriff's department. I had heard that you guys are going, and this is just a rumor. So I had heard that the sheriff's department had chose the same vendor as the city. Is that true? And then if so, what is that vendor? As far as my information from the city, we did not choose the same vendor. Have, we, have you guys chosen a vendor yet? Or like... Like we most. have we have two vendors, um, Axon and Utility Body Warm. Okay. That, that's fine. And that's where we were last time. I just heard, just like I said, it was rumored. So thank you for clarifying that. Uh, nothing further. Any other discussion? Oh. Ready to vote now? Other discussion? Supervisor Wing. Yes, I was just going to ask Corporation Council if we could repeat what the motion is that we're going to vote on. As of as of right now, if there is nothing further, the motion on the floor would be the budget itself. So uh, we would be moving again. If there is no further debate, we'd be moving to a vote on the budget. Uh, yes, vote to approve. No vote to uh, disapprove. The roll call vote as amended. Anybody want to know what that amendment was? This was quite a while ago. Mr. Chairman, staff staff would like to know what the amendment was. Who did say that? Sherry. Yeah. Um, Supervisor Belsky wanted it to be made clear. So, Supervisor Rose, could you please? Um, Reread what it is that you the amendment you made to the budget on uh, page for uh, on page three nineteen. It's at page three nineteen as well as in the uh, budget resolution itself, and the current resolution and the budget at three nineteen says that the vacancy adjustment shall be six hundred and fifty six hundred and sixty five thousand five hundred dollars. We are raising that to seven hundred thousand dollars, thus reducing the levy to two point nine eight percent. Thank you for the clarification. That amendment was passed earlier in the evening, so yes, this would be voting on the budget as amended by that amendment. A two point nine eight.
Supervisor Winky. Motion passes, 17 yes. Can you change mine to yes? Okay, motion passes, 18 yes, four no. Thank you. New business ordinance one reading ordinance 50 from the finance and administration committee, a resolution authorizing the issuance of not to exceed 15,240,000 general obligation promissory notes for the budgeted capital projects, including road and highway improvements. Initial resolution. Mr. Rose, uh, I move the resolution. From the Finance and Administration Committee, Supervisor Rose, yes. Ron Frederick, yes. Kubicki, yes. Juhas, yes. Franco, yes. Gantz, yes. Wamble, yes. Thank you, Supervisor Rose. Uh, thank you. I moved the resolution. There was a second. Is that correct? Chairman. Second by Ron Frederick. All right. Uh, Rose. The uh, resolution before you uh, funds the capital projects uh, Highway K, Highway S, F, A, Y roundabout. There's a list of them at the uh, information presented to us and prepared by Ehlers, our uh, advisors on bonding. And the committee reviews this uh, and urges your support this evening. It is probably not going to be sold until sometime in the summer. So the interest rates at that time will be what will govern. Uh, we don't know at this time what those will be. Terry, two further rolls. I just have a question. It's 15,240. And uh, on the papers we have on our desk is 15,510. Okay. And the uh, there are other uh resolutions that have been passed uh by the board at other times and therefore the differentiation any discussion seeing none roll call yes if you're in agreement no if you're not Motion passes, 17 yes, four no, one abstain. This requires a three quarter vote with of the entire county board. So is it pass or not? I can speak to that. Um, the bonding process requires three steps in the resolution process. This is the initial resolution. Usually in July, we come forward with an authorizing set sale resolution, and then we go to sale in August, and we then have an award of sale re resolution. Um, the statute requires that there be three quarters vote at one of those three steps. It does not have to be the initial resolution. That's your question. When was 
yeah, my question to the finance director is when did that change? Because in 2000 and, um, 2000 conversa in conversations with bond council after that, um, initial resolution did not receive three quarters votes in 2008, 17 or 18, I think it was 18. Um, they are the ones who pointed out to us that we had a past res resolution. We had just not received three quarters votes. Please clarify that again. At the time that that happened, we spoke with bond council, not our financial advisor, but bond council. And they are the ones who brought to our attention that we had a past resolution, but we did not have three quarters votes. So in this case, we are in the same um, scenario. We have a past resolution. How, how can you have a past resolution when it requires three quarter vote? In the initial resolution does not require three quarters votes. One of the resolutions in that three step process requires three quarter votes. Okay. So my question is three quarters vote. Does that have to be out of 22 that are here today or the full 23? 23. Okay. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Actually, the question goes to corporation council. I know we discussed this uh, before. And uh, I was told that for this resolution to pass, it needs 18 votes, regardless of how many people are attending the meeting. I double checked with WCA attorney, and he did say the same thing. It's 18 votes that he needs for that to pass. And that was our discussion. This is the first time that anybody said that we don't need that. <laughs> when do we need that 18 votes? And the next resolution, once this passes, the usual we always said like a majority to to bond that then. That's why it was done in the past all the times. I, I'm not certain, Supervisor Nudo, what your question is. It seemed like you made a statement. Well, my question is or a statement, whatever you want to call it. I said, well, you can call it a statement. Is when I talked to you and asked you the same question, your answer was 18 votes to pass. That's what I needed. I also checked with WCA attorney and he told me exactly the same thing. He needs 18 votes to pass. So now all of a sudden we come here and it's changed. Well, whoa. That's <laughs> what the heck is going on? I don't think I'm that stupid not to understand that, but I guess something is going on. As, as finance director Merrill indicated, the information that we received from bond council is that at one of the three votes on the bonding process, a three quarters vote is required for a board of this size. That is 18 votes. The fact is that the law does not require that those 18 or that three quarters vote occur at the time of the initial authorizing resolution. That has typically been our practice but it is not required by law. The law simply requires that there be a three quarters vote on one of the three votes in order to authorize the bond. The bond. Point of information. What do our county board rules of procedure require? I'll, our I'll, county board rules. I'll, what, I'll look, but I don't think it's specified, but I will look. You tell me you done. I'm saying, you know, when was this changed? And I talked to you, what, about a week ago? I talked to WCA attorney last week. I, actually, I talked to him twice. And he, he told me to then, uh, you know, to check with you. I checked with you. You told me the same thing. Now, a week later, we say that it was done. I went, that happened. That happened about, uh, what year was it? I believe it was in 2017, 2016, 2017. No, I'm not done. It was back in 2017 that they did not have the 18 votes and they failed. 
So if we pass it now with 15, whatever you want to call it, the simple majority, whatever it is, I mean, we're authorizing to bond it. Now we spend the money, and then on the next one, we're going to say we're not going to bond. What the heck are we going to pay it with? This was always the rule, and uh, that's what we're told. But it seems like we change the rules or we make new rules depends on what we want to accomplish and what we want to do. Congrats again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I want to make something clear to everybody in this room, okay? Uh, this little thing about not passing the bonding, it is true that this will move, move forward anyway, but it will stop all the spending for all the capital projects in our county because we, like Supervisor Nudo just said, we're not, we're not going to move forward and, and work on projects when we have nothing paid. So this is going to eliminate buying the body cameras and everything else you want to do and needs to be done in this county for this stupid stunt. So I just want everybody to know that. Thank you. Uh, I want to respond on that. No, that was direct, uh, directly to me. I'm going around the horn. I'll come back to you. Well, I want to respond exactly to, to that. I'll come back. They, they the said that it's already. a stupid Supervisor stunt. Line of order, right Mr. Chairman. Supervisor Frankel. I just, my question was, and I think uh, Supervisor Rose addressed it. I don't, I don't understand it, but um, 18, assuming there's 23 people present, there's only 22 present. So it doesn't matter how many people are present? No. It's not a matter of who's here? Okay. Thank you. Coming back. Who else? Hey. Supervisor Rose. I, I would urge uh, one of you who descended here. Uh, to change your vote to make it 18. Uh, if you want to have no bonding in 2021 and you don't want to buy any of these items, you don't want to finish, for example, uh, these various highways uh, and just stop work on it, that's what you're doing. And these are county highways. You know, I live uh, in the city on 3rd Avenue. Uh, none of these roads affect me. The people who, <laughs> who are really affected are those of you who represent uh, uh, areas outside of the city. From your perspective, it makes no sense. Uh, these roads are for uh, county people who go to work for economic development, for the various industrial parks, which are occurring outside of the city. These aren't industrial parks in the city. Now, we also passed a, a, a resolution here to have uh, body cameras for the sheriff's department and we discussed that in detail and we heard citizens come here and talk about it and uh i heard supervisor nudo here this evening uh talk about uh, immediately getting it going and we'll all agree upon that uh we just won't fund it we won't pay for it so that's pretty hypocritical and uh, pretty foolish uh you know take a look at the items here that you are defeating. Uh, the, they're all listed in the Ehlers booklet uh, from uh, various security devices. Uh, we're developing uh, various uh, rooms here at the uh, public, uh, the law enforcement building. Uh, we're adding security to the detention center. We're buying various trucks. We're doing things out at the golf course. What about the Veterans Park? We heard speakers this evening on that particular issue, as well as last night and at other uh, county board meetings. We're going to forget about that, too. It doesn't make any sense. So, you know, if you don't like a particular item uh, at Brookside, there's a Brookside equipment here of $25,000, building improvements of another $120,000, energy efficient projects, $100,000, you know, delete them. Uh, we, the finance committee did delete out of the bonding $750,000. Uh, so it can be done. And we, the committee decided to remove one of those items and, uh, it wasn't in the budget bonding this evening. So keep in mind what you're doing here. You're making, uh, uh, it so that, uh, essentially, uh, there will be no bonding here unless we have 18 votes. Uh, if 
you want to postpone this, you know, we'll adjourn this evening, take it up at another time. You can do that as well, but keep in mind, you're delaying all of these things. I heard a very impassioned plea from you, Supervisor Nudo, this evening about doing it now, getting rolling on it. Uh, how are you going to pay for it? You don't want to pay for it. So it sounded good, but uh, uh, you got to put your money where your mouth is, uh, to put it very bluntly. Uh, you know, for the good of the community, I would say change your vote on this. Uh, reconsider this vote if you voted uh, no, and we can take it up once again. You don't like some of these items? Move to delete them on a specific basis. We can deal with it. But to vote against everything, even those things which you have advocated, we voted unanimously on the body camera issue. I don't think there was a single solitary uh, dissent. Uh, then, then do that. But uh, just uh, for some reason, your vote, no, I, I don't understand that. Explain it, Supervisor Nudo. I defer to you. I yield my time and floor to you to explain it. How do you say on the one hand, we'll pay for it, and uh, we won't pay for it, but you're for it? Just answer that question, please. I'll, I'll go back to that. Yeah, I will. Number one, that's not a stunt. I resent that. The stunt was uh, a few months ago when we say, let's put this in the budget. It's almost forcing us because that's so important, almost trying to force everyone to vote for that. If you recall, Supervisor Rose, it was a few months ago, actually before the other board, that we had a meeting uh, for, uh, can you recall it exactly what it was, that you and I sponsored. And uh, when he came down, to the committee, the executive committee, they put something else sandwiched in between that. And you were the one also to say and agree that that's what they usually do to get their way. Now, when you say that I'm against the body camps, that is not true. I'm the one, take the, uh, take the money out of the bonding for the body cameras, we'll pay for that. We have the money to pay it without bonding. So if anybody wants, uh, you know, be honest about it, and they want to do it. Like you say, put your money where uh, your mouth is. That's what we got to do. I did make a motion to do the body cams right now. I sent a mo I sent a, uh, for uh, a resolution about three months ago to do that immediately. And they didn't want to bring it up to the board. So that's the point I'm trying to make. I'm not right. against everything in there, but... In order to do that, it seems like the last two years, we worked so hard on the budget and we worked it out. We made the agreements. We made some, uh, whatever, you know, we did get enough for the budget to pass. I was so criticized. I was called a liar for things that I did not say or do. So what I want to do is I want the body camps to do it and we have the money to pay for it. Take it out of the bonding. Then even if we do vote against the bonding, it does not affect the body camps. The body camps will be done. We can do the body camps. We can start doing it tomorrow. We have the money to pay for it. Just a second. Rose, I'll come back to you. Where's the third All right. Uh, the problem, Supervisor Nudo, is simply that in order to get the money out of the general fund requires a two-thirds vote. I said that when you brought this up before. We don't, you don't have a two thirds vote to remove that uh, from the general fund. Now, I would suggest that you'd be the bigger person, the, the person who uh, is uh, uh, supporting what is good for this community and uh, set aside whatever personal animosities that you may have or complaints that you may have against certain leadership, uh, against certain leadership, and forget about. Uh, which came up a year ago, and forget about all of that particular point, and vote yes. And I urge you to change your vote so that we can get on with this uh, bonding and do the things that you, in fact, have said you supported. So I ask you to do that this evening for the good of the community, as it's a positive thing for you, not a negative thing for you. Frederick. Frederick. Obviously, the, the reason that the Supervisor Nudo proposed to take the money 
pay for the uh, body cameras out of this year because this was the plan, I guess, here tonight to beat down the resolution for all of the outlay. And you know, for about the last four years, I've been voting for stuff that's not even in my district because that's good for the Kenosha County, the roads, the highways, squad cars, the Veterans Park, these are all gone if this doesn't pass. And I and the city road residents that I represent get nothing from that part. So I guess I'll maybe join you in this and we'll kill this thing and you won't get your squad cars, you won't get your roads fixed, you won't get your heavy equipment to plow the roads, you won't get your salt, you won't get anything. Why should I continue to vote and argue against three or four of you on this board who every year try to kill the outlay? Every year you try to kill it, and I vote for it because it's good for the county. But you in the rural area get the benefit, but I still vote for it even if I represent the city. This is enough. I'll join you, okay? Thank Super you. Surprise against. I would recommend against that. Um, I also would like to uh, address Supervisor Rodriguez. He came in with an impassioned speech at the beginning of the civil unrest and, and, and how, uh, you know, Latinos, African-Americans, blacks, they, they were all, they're all hurting and we needed to do these body cams and do these other things. And, and now when we come to the, the way we want to fund them, all of a sudden, where are they? I mean, this is this is ludicrous. I, I, this is ludicrous. We're running a county here, not a daycare center. What the hell is going on? Supervisor Rose, you had your flag up before. I did. Uh, Supervisor Nudo, I asked you whether or not you would be the bigger person and change your votes so that we can have this done and proceed. Yes or no? Not tonight, I'm not going to change my vote. If the administration wants to call me, they didn't even have the decency to call me once and then do my position. After asking all the question and getting not even the vote, we can uh, we can talk about it, move some of the other stuff. Again, less the last two years, I was the one that put the budget together and I was criticized and called a liar. You know, I was born and raised in Italy. The only thing that we had at that time was our word. And he's saying that I'm going against my word. That's the worst thing that he can do. I got to clear my name. I know partially I was vindicated at uh, public works meeting. Well, you, well, first of all, why don't you call, why don't you keep some order? I mean, you tell me to shut up whenever you want to. Why don't you tell everybody? I'm talking to you, Mr. Chairman. So that's my position, Supervisor Rose. I'm not against that working out something, but I'm not going to do it tonight. Yes. The discussion of systemic racism comes up right, right here. We want to, somebody makes a motion to move body cameras out of the budget so that they don't look like they voted against body cams because that's going to hurt them in the next election. That's garbage. This is part of systemic racism right here. You, you want to make yourself look good and vote for body cams separately than from the entire budget. Why don't we start pulling out some of these highway projects out of here? Why don't we start pulling out this the skid steer for the snows? It'll affect the uh, residents that are out in the county that we're paying for. All right, Supervisor Nudo, uh, what do you want out of the bond? I'm sorry, I'm not going to talk about it right now. Well, well you know, we all came here this evening to do we this. We took a vote uh, and, you know, uh, actually uh, we're not, uh, when well. it's convenient for you, for this board to me to vote once again, but I, I don't understand your well, position I'm not here. The only one that uh, what, if you don't like some items in the bonding, tell me what those are, and we can do, deal with them on an individual basis. But uh, what do we?
what are we wasting time for? And that's what I say. You certainly don't expect the sheriff's department, for example, to go out and uh, start uh, contracting for uh, body cameras or the uh, highway department to uh, start bidding out projects or buying equipment without any money. I mean, that's what you told him. No, I did not. Which yes, you did. Not, by no. by voting against, back. yes, you did. We by voting against or... this, uh, that's where we are. If you're not willing to do that, then let's just adjourn and uh, do something else. Move on to the next resolution if you so desire. No, I, I'm not going to move that resolution and give anybody the opportunity to take another shot at this. It makes no sense. I move we adjourn. Second it to adjourn. Roll call. Point of order, Mr. Chairman, please rule out of order those kinds of comments. No comments outside of the recognized person. Oh, hold it. There, there has been a motion call. to adjourn, which is always in order. There has been a request for a roll call on that motion, which is also in order. If if you wish to adjourn, vote yes. Point of order, Mr. Chairman, don't allow that. We cannot degenerate into that Would kind of anarchy, I'm her, sorry, we cannot. Could you escort her out of the room, please? He knows better. We're taking a roll call vote. Mr. Chairman, can I ask a question on the adjournment? Is there a question? Can I ask a question on it? Can I ask a question on the motion to adjourn? Corporation, ask the Corporation Council. Ask them what? Motion to adjourn is in order. I want to know if I can ask a question on the adjournment. The adjournment? The question allowed? If the motion to adjourn is not debatable. Remember, when you do adjourn, nothing that can be bought Anywhere. Oh, we're voting. Is it a simple majority? Motion passes 18 or 15 yes, 7 no.